guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing the no brush makeup fat challenge. So that means I'm just gonna do my makeup with my fingers. So we're just gonna uh, jump straight into the video, wish me luck. I think it's possible, I really do. So of course we're gonna start with our primer and the primer I'm gonna use is the Nivea Post Shave After Balm. And I always use my fingers for this, so this is easy. I had a friend told me that it didn't work for her. You guys really need to rub it into your skin until it gets tacky. That way it has your foundation has something to stick to. We're gonna go with light coverage today, so I'm gonna go in with the um, Face and Body by MAC. This is their like sheer to medium coverage. 70% water, so it's very hydrating, but it really provides minimal coverage. So I'm just gonna put this on top and rub it in like some lotion. This is a dewy um, finish foundation, so it's gonna leave your skin nice and glowy. If you have oily skin, I definitely do not recommend this at all. You're not gonna like it. Unless you put a mattifying, pri mattifying primer underneath it and a mattifying powder on top. I'm just pushing whatever's left on top of the skin into the skin. I am gonna color correct first. And to color correct, I'm just gonna use the um, Peach Luster Highlight Stick from MAC. Because I always color correct because I really don't like, my concealer really looks great if I don't put any color corrector on. Like two videos back when I did that cut crease tutorial, it looked gray underneath my eyes because I did not color correct first. So now I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Stick and just put a little underneath my eyes, around my nose, you know, the huge. I think that's all we're gonna do because I don't, I can't help it. I don't know how we're gonna bring this out, but we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna use the same ring finger, kinda just rubbed that orangish concealer away. I'm using all my fingers now because I just want all of it to blend in seamlessly. Now to set everything, you guys, I'm gonna have to use like a tissue or something. That's what's gonna happen. To set everything, I'm using tissue, guys. This is not a brush. I'm just taking a tissue, dabbing a very little, and just dabbing underneath my eyes. I'm just setting it. This totally is okay. I don't care what you guys say. And now I'm just gonna take this and dust off any excess. Next time I'm just gonna keep blending until it's all blended in. For bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Pro Bronze Fusion. You guys, I'm so sorry, I use the same stuff every time, whatever. I'm just gonna take it on my finger here. I don't want it to be too hard, so I'm dusting it off a little. I'm just gonna kinda, you know, bronze up. Take both fingers, I guess. Bronze up. I'm gonna take a little on the forehead here. Very lightly. I'm doing light strokes so I won't rub off any of the foundation. I'm gonna take a little on my chin. The usual. I'm gonna take a little on my nose to contour it a smidge. For blush, I'm going to take um, Lovejoy, only because it's a mineralized blush and it's not going to be too matte, and it's going to kind of just glide on just like it glides in the pan. So I'm just taking a little, oh god, I think I should have been patting this whole time. Kind of having it on there, smack those cheeks, girl. Now for highlight, and I think I'm just gonna go on with Global Glow so it's not too much. So I'm gonna take it on my pinky finger, of 
before I show up with some on the back of my hand so I can see how harsh it is. We're gonna go down the bridge of our nose. Cupid though. You know, most people put, not most, a lot of people put their highlight on with their finger anyways. So I feel like this is natural. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids since I have yet to touch my eyeballs. Here we go. I'm gonna take the um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC. Just to prime our eyes, and you know I never use a brush for this anyway. So I'm tired of Just taking um, Mac the long type to kind of set it. I'm gonna mix that and creme brulee from Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna kind of mix those on my ring finger and kind of set that that primer I put on in place. So then it's gonna make it easier for me to blend whatever eyeshadows I want on top. And honestly, I'm putting one eyeshadow on. Bet you can guess what it is. Saddle, girl, yes, you're right. I'm just gonna push the end of the crease a little. It probably looks nice and muddy, but that's okay. Probably wearing glasses today anyways. <laughs> Just rubbing it back and forth into the crease. I'm just gonna kinda put that a little more into the um, Going back in with the block type from MAC. I'm just putting that in the inner corner just to wipe up any of that saddle shade that went too far forward. For highlight, but you can guess what it is. I'm gonna use my pinky and just kind of dab it in the center here, in the inner corner. Taking a little on the lid. So I filled my brows in, and I really wanted to take some concealer and sculpt them, but I did not because I know that definitely would have been cheating. So I'm gonna take a little nylon, a very little. Let's hope this doesn't get out of hand here. I'm gonna mix it. I have a little of that um, Global Glow by MAC on my hand. I'm gonna highlight the brow bone here. A very little. We're gonna take some mascara, bruh. Mascara. And this doesn't count either because how else are you supposed to put mascara on besides. You see what I'm saying? You don't need a brush for this. I'm gonna set my brows too because this is also a product that you don't need a brush for, it's already in there. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Set in Clear. And we're just gonna set both of them. I'm gonna go in with Stone from MAC and it's um, only sold in the pro stores and in freestanding stores but not at counters. And online. Going in with Stone Lipstick from MAC. Then we're gonna to top it off with um, Kapow from ColourPop. I'm gonna take the uh, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. Set everywhere just to kind of make every sure everything blends in. All right, guys. So here's the finished look. Um, I think I did pretty good. You know, um, I think I could have done a little better with blending, but then again, I was using my fingers with powder products, which is pretty difficult. But it is possible, guys, to do a full face of makeup with just your fingers and a Kleenex. <laughs> um, I do hope you liked the video. If you have any questions about products I use, always look down in the um, bottom bar below. I list pretty much everything that I use. Um, if you also if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Instagram or on Snapchat. I'm always on those. I do have a Twitter, I just don't really get on. 
It is ecraw underscore as well. My next video will be a back to basics makeup tutorial and it's going to be all about a lipstick and how to apply lipstick so look for that sometime this weekend and yeah if you like the video as always please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe catch you in my next video love you guys bye